Shirley Falconti, Roderick Rondell, and the living legend Bruno San Martino. Bruno, we have Nasty Nick in the ring starting this week off already. Uh, Julio Sanchez, what a match this will be. Well, we've seen Nick Drain in the past, and uh, this Julio Sanchez is quite a wrestler. This is going to be very interesting because these are two very tough competitors, and I think we're going to see quite a match here. But I'm looking for maybe a little bit of an upset, possibly, with Sanchez, because he has impressed me in the past. Well, I'll tell you, Rondell, that's your man up there, Nasty Nick Train. I think you got a tough match ahead of him, wrestling Well, fans. I'll tell you what, Sal Quanti. Nasty Nick Crane takes on anybody. He doesn't care who they are, what they are, how big, how small. He does everything the old-fashioned way. He just beats people up. Well, we will see about that, Rondell, because with Julio Sanchez, he's a pretty crafty uh, guy in that ring, so we'll see. Hey, he's not too smart, though, Bruno. He turned his back. That was a mistake. Well, Bruno, we see that Nasty Nick already Pearl Harbored him, took him to the corner, some blows. Ooh. Beautiful kick to the chin by Julio. What is this, Sal Quanti? We're not having a karate match here. Hey, listen. That's it. A, no, two we count, count, oh, it's a count of two. What do you mean not a karate match? You praised, uh, you praised Crane for uh, attacking Sanchez when Sanchez was climbing the ropes. So, I mean, you know, what did Sanchez do that was so bad? He, he delivered a beautiful, beautiful kick to stop Crane when he come up behind him. Well, I'll tell you what that was, Bruno. To me, what it looked like was he was trying to disgrace Nasty oh, Nick by turning his back on him, guys. and he's mad about it. I understood that. Nice arm drag. You know, uh, Sal, I have to tell you, and Rondell, this Julio Sanchez, you can look at him, and, and he's tall, he's not super, super heavy, but yet he's big enough, but you can see he's in very good shape, and he's got terrific quickness. Now, you see, I think that's where he has the advantage over your man, this next train, because I think he's faster. Now, train is bigger, but we will see if he can utilize that size and, and stop the smaller man. But I got a feeling that he's going to have a, a lot of problems with Julio Sanchez. Well, that's possible, bro, but I'll tell you what. There he is, back in control again, so I feel pretty good about the action so far. Big chop, guys, big chop. I'll tell you one thing, Bruno, I can see we have a tremendous audience here today. It seems to be the fan favorites are going with Julio at the moment. Nasty Nick, though, getting the upper hand on both men right now at the same time. Getting the upper hand on the referee and also Julio Sanchez. This Nasty Nick guy is a tough guy, Bruno. you got to watch him. The first chance he gets or the first hole that's open, he's in there. Well, as far as Graham goes, yeah. We know what he, we've seen him in the past, and uh, there's no question about it. He'll, he's the type of guy who do anything and everything to, to win a match. He doesn't care about well, rules. Bruno, Bruno, just like I, I think I said this a few weeks ago, but I'm saying it again. In the end, it's either a W behind your name or an L behind your name. It doesn't really make too much difference what happens as long as you win. The only fair fight I always thought was the fight I won. Well, that's, you know, that may be true as far as the record show down the road, okay? But they do have rules and regulations, and the rules and regulations show for a purpose of, you know, to, to, be, to go by them and abide by them. Now, if you don't, if you don't, yeah, you can get a win, but how many times do these guys lose as a result of it? being will break by getting disqualified, for example. Uh oh we have, it looks There's like a sleeper. Nasty Nick taking control of this match, Bruno, the whole time here. I'm surprised. Wait a minute. Beautiful suplex. Now, he turned that sleeper hold into a suplex, and now Sanchez, but you can see that the uh, sleeper did take uh, weak of them quite a bit. The question is now, which one of them is going to be able to get up and get started again? Well, Sal and Bruno, I'll tell you what. I always put my money on Nasty Nick because we've worked together so many times. And I know for a fact, he's never out until he's counted out. Well, there's no question that he is a tough customer. He certainly can take the blows and come back at you. He's a big six man. Now he can charge that to Hugo Sanchez, but Sanchez was quick in scooping him up with a slam. And there's a good kick. See, uh, my problem I have with Sanchez is he thinks he's Bruce Lee out there. That's my problem with him. Ooh, oh, see there. Three, Bob. Well, now this is not good, Bruno. Well, the question is now the referee might disqualify Julio Sanchez. Uh, we'll have to see what happens when he gets up. Oh, 
Tremendous neck break of Bruno. Look well, right now, Bruno. Sanchez is wasting time. He's got the men hurt. Stay on him. Big hit to the head, Bruno. Yes, indeed. You notice, Bruno. Well, I'll tell you what, Sanchez has got the, he's got the gimmick in his hand. The ref ought to see that. The ref needs to see that. That's well, not right. He's he's the just, he has a gimmick on his hand. He should be disqualified for that. I think there is going to be disqualification, but I don't think it's because of that. Yeah. Okay. Wrestling fans, it looks like the ring has given the nasty neck frame because who we know it is left, the referee. We'll be right back, wrestling fans. Ladies and gentlemen, fans, the winner of this messages. contest has a resolve. Friday night, November 20th, the United States Championship Wrestling, the real wrestling, comes to the Beaver Golden Dome for Beaver Fever. The mean, the nasty, the one and only psycho Sid Vicious, living legend Bruno San Martino, Tom Brandy, world heavyweight champion Dan Rage, Dominic Danucci, Julio Sanchez, the warrior, and many more. This event will be televised. Tickets can be purchased at any Ticketmaster location or charged by phone. Seating is limited for Beaver Fever. All Pro Auto Mall is Pittsburgh. You're watching United States Championship Wrestling, the real wrestling. Welcome, wrestling fans. We're back to the United States Championship here with Sam Martino, living legend, Roderick Rondell, yours truly, Sal Conti. We've seen what happened the other match, Bruno. We've seen that. Julio Sanchez disqualified for those who weren't watching against Nasty Nick. Now we have one heck of a match coming up. The cue ball versus Tom Brandy, Bruno. This should be a very good match. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with Brandy, and I think Brandy's uh, I think Brandy's a tremendous wrestler, but I think he's gonna have some pretty good competition from uh, Paul Carmichael. Well, Bruno, I'll tell you, I know that Brandy was in other organizations before he came back to the United States Championship Wrestling. He said this was the real wrestling. He was tired of getting backgrounded. He loves where he's at now. It looks like we're going to see a lot more of Tom Brandy. Well, he was I was talking to him before the bouts, and he told me that uh, he is back with the United States Championship Wrestling, and he said that he, uh, he expects to stay here. And because he was quite a bit disillusioned over the other organization that he was in. Right. Now, what do you think of him, Rondell? Well, now, truthfully, be objective here. We talk about Tom Brandy. Tom Brandy's uh, brutal. Uh, I'll give him credit. He's a well-built individual. I don't know. It seems like I've seen this guy somewhere before. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe Sal Quanti, one of his buddies. About his opponent? But, uh, what's he got? Some kind of flag trims? Or what is that he has on there? I don't know, but uh, you are talking about branding? Yes. You mean his tights? Yeah, what can we do? He's a very proud man. That's the Italian flag. Oh, I, I'm, hey. I'm going to leave that alone with you two guys here. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Because I, I think Sal Conti's connected anyway, you wait, know. Wait, didn't he say the last episode that we had Bruno that he was actually Ron Deli? You know what he Ron was going to do, Bruno? He said, you think Bruno would mind if I send you guys a pizza? Deli. I said, no, send us whatever you want. <laughs> but you know what? I was afraid we might have to pay for the bill, Bruno. Oh, oh really? yeah, that's you know, the kind of there he goes. Kind of guy he there he goes. You know, you couldn't stand it, Sal, could you? Well, well, I'll tell you what. This cue ball, Bruno, he's a tough individual. He's from the Carolinas. Been all around the world wrestling. Don't ever underestimate him. Even though Brandy looks like the better fit man, this will be a tough match to see. Oh, I don't doubt it at all. I didn't suggest for a second that uh, Brandy might have an easy match with cue ball. I'm merely saying that he's a good-looking athlete. I've seen him wrestle in the past, and he, he knows his wrestling. Well, I'll and tell you one thing, Bruno. He's a dirty wrestler. You see him, what he did to that man just now? Well, I think he's retaliating from some of the things that Q-Ball did to him. Hey, that, that, man might, that man might want to have a family one day. You know what I mean? Well, then, uh, then he should abide by the rules, and then Brandy would uh, resort to those kind of tactics. Oh, my. I mean, hey, sometimes you have to fire, as the old saying goes, fire with fire. And I think you ball started it, so Brandy's no. merely retaliating. You know what? What's up? I think you guys see that Italian flag out there. Right away, you're loyal to Brandy. I'm going to tell you something, Rondell. I know that Q ball is a fan favorite of yours, as I noticed. And I'm not going to doubt that he's not a tough man. 
But I think Brandy might prevail in this one. He's just too much of a man for, I think, Cuba. Beautiful hip toss. That was huh? a good hip lock. Oh! Now, that's dangerous. He took two hands of this guy that can't afford too much air, Rondell. Cue ball. And he just took him by the side, jerked him up. He took two hands full of hair. This well, guy. Cue ball doesn't care, really, Bruno. I think he works for that hair club for Ben. I think he's, he works for them people. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah, I think he does. Ah, okay. But anyway, uh, Brandy just missed a shoulder block, and I think he hit that still uh, 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 corner there and uh, see what kind of shape his shoulder's in. Yeah, he's hurting. He's hurting. Yeah, Brandy's hurt right now, Bruno. This is where cue ball will take over, I'm afraid. You well, guys. you know, well, when you have your man hurt, that's the name of the game. you got to go after him, and you got to go for the kill. You have to, this is when you try to, to finish the guy off, and, uh, and that's what he's doing right now. Well, cue ball's not one to waste too much time. Although he's boasting a little now, he should stay on his man, Bruno. Well. <laughs> of course, well, that's a character characteristic he learned off Rondell over there, boasting a little bit out in the time. Well, you is know what? You know what, Sal Quanti? There's people talk about it and can't do it. I talk it and can't do it. Hey, let me mention to both you guys what Rondell wanted. We have USCW Dancing Girls coming up in the weeks to come. Get up. Uh, dancing Girls. I figured, you know, Rondell, he's been asking for it. I can't seem to have him here. Look at this. Uh, Grant just went to, I guess he wanted to shoot a tackle, and he hit the rope so hard that top rope snapped. And he flew backwards, and I wonder if he's, uh, how badly he may have gotten hurt with that. I mean, he took a bad, bad spill because when that rope broke, he just went straight back. Well, he's, he looks like he's all right. Well, oh, double chicken wing shoot clock. Let's see what happens. The man has dropped two, three. That's the end of it, Bruno. Oh, my. What a, what a, what a finish. What I a thought finish. he was going with a shoot lock. He said he came with a power slam. Wrestling fans, Tom Brandy, your winner. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more exciting United States Championship Wrestling action. Friday night, November 20th, the United States Championship Wrestling, the real wrestling, comes to the Beaver Golden Dome for Beaver Fever. The mean, the nasty, the one and only psycho Sid Vicious, living legend Bruno San Martino, Tom Brandy, world heavyweight champion Dan Rage, Dominic DiNucci, Julio Sanchez, the warrior, and many more. This event will be televised. Tickets can be purchased at any Ticketmaster location or charged by phone. Seating is limited for Beaver Fever. All Pro Auto Mall is Pittsburgh. Our new champion, Dan Rage, the new champion for USCW. Dan Rage, we'll see what kind of opposition Dynamite Dean can provide for him this week. Well, oh, what is that? Against... Hey, Dynamite Dean, what a... Oh, he got the gorgeous George look. Well, I'll tell you. What I'm seeing behind that cape looks like a pretty rugged looking individual. I like it. I like that clue. Yeah. I like that. Dynamite Dean, a big individual, Bruno. Boy, I'll say, yeah. look at this impressive looking guy. I, really... I'll tell you what, I have never seen a chest on a guy like that in a long time like Dynamite Dean. Yeah, very impressive. He's a big man. Uh, I'll tell you what, I don't buy this. 240 pounds, maybe 300 pounds. No way is this guy. No, Dynamite pounds. Dean. Bruno has gone from 240 pounds when he started to who? 288 pounds. Okay, I was going to say. 88. He, he was sure. I could tell. see he's close to 300 pounds. Look at the rage, how big rage is. And I believe that Dean is bigger than he is. Well, let's see what happens. Who's I think both team? these guys are sized up. They're pretty close to the same weight, Bruno. Yeah, they look like a couple of bulls in that range. Let's see. Uh, who gets the edge as far as the strength department? Well, we have the two of the most powerful men in the USCW, as far as I'm concerned. In the oh, right I, I, I wouldn't argue with you on that. Dan Rage busting himself out. 
Neither man going down, Bruno. I'll tell you, the weight is right there. That was a flying chest move or something, Bruno. And you know, when you have that kind of weight to 88, you say, coming at you like that, boy, that's going to take you down. Looks like a truck coming at you. That's uh, darn right. And you're going to go down when you get hit by that truck. The only thing would be worse than that would be Bruno San Martino in that ring about 20 years ago. Then I think that would be worse. Maybe 30 years ago. <laughs> uh, I think even now, Mr. San Martino, I think it would be a tough, tough uh -huh. run that one. Uh, Rondell, I asked him the other day, I said, would you go for a, <clears throat> a little bout with Bruno in the ring? He said, how much will you pay me? I told him, how much do you want? He said, there's no money that can get us in the ring. He said you were his You mean you're challenging me. You know I'm much older than you, you know, are. You know, this you know. is all fun to you, Bruno. You know, I'll tell you what. You know, they don't pay me bad here, but I'm, you know, the pay's not starting to equal out with the treatment and the punishment here anymore. You know what I mean? You feel like you're oh. being verbally abused? Uh, I feel like a, a red-headed stepchild at the Kmart. So in other words, you're telling me that Sal Conte is too truthful when he says that you want to challenge me? Bruno. Well, this guy, you know. I, well, I'm glad to hear it. No, I respect my I elders. Mean, exactly. you're, you're, I, you're, I, well, you're, you look like a gentleman. You know, we're more see. the same than we are different, Bruno. You know what I'm saying? We should have been together. You should have been the wrestler. I would have been a manager. One, it would have been two. fantastic. Yeah, but our philosophies would have would have not coincided because you believe in a win is a win is a win. I took pride in uh, winning in a way that I felt was uh, according to the rules and something I would not be ashamed of the way I got my hand raised. Well, Bruno, so that's where we differed. A guy on a street like myself, been in the street. You know, hey, the Bruno, only fair fight Bruno. was the fight I ever won. Bruno, it's getting deep over here. I like to go to action. He just mimicked his way out of the challenge that he told me, ah, I'd go in the ring with Bruno for the right money. Let's go to action. Ah. Oh, you know, there's no sense in this. Yeah. Uh-oh, what's that? What's that? Whoa, hey, whoa. Where are you in? Where are you in on Rage? Oh, my. Oh, Rage going down for a count. Yeah, but they sell. This, Let me this tell is going to constitute a disqualification, I think. Yeah, this is not good. Rage taking up. on both fans. Rage going... Warrior in the dynamite team. This don't look good. This, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have a confrontation between the Warrior and Dynamite Dean. Well, wrestling fans, this is not good. No. The Warrior should have not have come in and interrupted in the match. I don't know what he had in mind, but what he did, you know, honestly, he took a, an opportunity away from Dynamite Dean. Well, like I'll tell you what. That just goes to show you I was right all the time. Well, wrestling fans, we'll be right back. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more exciting United States Championship Wrestling action. Friday night, November 20th, the United States Championship Wrestling, the real wrestling, comes to the Beaver Golden Dome for Beaver Fever. The mean, the nasty, the one and only psycho Sid Vicious, living legend Bruno San Martino, Tom Brandy, world heavyweight champion Dan Rage, Dominic Danucci, Julio Sanchez, the warrior, and many more. This event will be televised. Tickets can be purchased at any Ticketmaster location or charged by phone. Seating is limited for Beaver Fever. Oh, tough guy. Think you got what it takes to become a professional wrestler? Then get off your keister and call now. USCW Training Camp. Need a fundraiser for your school or organization? Then call the USCW hotline at 724-873-4594. United States Championship Wrestling, the real wrestling. Fans, stay tuned next week so we can see what's going on with the Warrior and Dynamite D. United States Championship Wrestling is brought to you by if the United States Championship Wrestling, the real wrestling, comes to the Beaver Golden Dome for Beaver Fever. The mean, the nasty, the one and only psycho Sid Vicious, living legend Bruno San Martino, Tom Brandy, world heavyweight champion Dan Rage, Dominic Danucci, Julio Sanchez, the Warrior, and many more. This event will be televised. 
Tickets can be purchased at any Ticketmaster location or charged by phone. Seating is limited for Fever Fever. Watch as neighbors keep their streets safe with Save Our Streets, coming up next on WNPA UPN 19.